Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I never filmed an intro for this video So here we are now literally the day that you're seeing this video, but I wanted to come on and say hi. Hello Welcome to the highly anticipated home library makeover video. This is actually part one I was editing this video and I had like over 25 hours of footage for this video It was getting so long and we're still waiting for some things to come like RTV a lamp just some finishing touches and so i actually decided to split this up into two parts this will be kind of like the actual building of the home library up until now and then i'm gonna start a new vlog with like doing our fake frame tv and kind of adding the finishing touches and organizing the book shelves bookcases home library so if you guys are new here we bought this house which is just our dream home it's a hundred year old countryside home and when we came to see it in august this room is right off the entrance to the home and i when i stepped foot in this house and saw this space i was like this is going to be my home library and i just can't believe that we're in this home and this is my home library now it's crazy it's definitely more of like a hobby room we have our games in here we have our cons well we will have the consoles in here like um my switch but for now, I just am so excited to share this video with you guys. I've been like so giddy excited to share this video. So I also just want to remind people that with home makeovers, like you don't have to love what the person picked, but that doesn't mean it's like a bad choice, right? I feel like sometimes with these makeover videos, especially on like short form content, I find people can just be like a little ruthless and be like, oh, I would never pick that color or like, oh, I would do something different. And that's totally okay. But this is our room makeover, obviously. And so I just ask that everyone be kind about it. I know that the navy color in the beginning was really, really beautiful. But as someone who does struggle with their mental health, I need very bright, airy spaces. Also, as a creator, it's really important for me to have you know bright airy spaces to film in and the navy just wasn't going to work with this space and like i would have loved to keep it but i just needed a bright airy space and as you guys can probably maybe tell this room does not get a lot of natural light and so it was really important to brighten it up as much as possible i just love sharing room makeovers in general because i think in this day and age it's so easy to see some of these makeovers that are like on a very high-end budget and think that it's like unattainable to make a space really feel cozy and like home on a budget but it totally is i always talk about when you're doing a makeover project or a renovation that it's important to pick your highs and lows where you want to spend money and where you want to cut back and so for this space we really wanted to get some nice oversized chairs we got them from ikea which is still i guess technically a little bit more of a budget friendly option but that was definitely our splurge for this space and then our coffee table is thrifted our side table is thrifted and yeah we waited till boxing day to get a new tv for the space and we ended up getting a smaller tv so we could save a little bit more money space to me is truly my love of like new and thrifted antique furniture together that's just like my joy i love it so much and yeah so i'm really excited to share this little makeover with you guys and i can't wait for part two which should be up within like a week or two i'd say maybe two weeks like mid-january part two should be up but i hope you guys enjoy and let's jump into it Okay, you guys, the second coat of paint is done in here. It sounds really echoey because obviously there's nothing in here. And it just brightens up the space so, so much. Like I said, I really liked the navy, but in terms of my mental health, I just need really bright and airy spaces, especially in a room like this where I'm going to be spending so much time. So I really, really love the color that we went with. It's like a bit of a softer off-white. I, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but it is Bear's Swiss Coffee. So the next thing we have to do is put the bookcases up and the plan is to put them up and then see if we need the extenders because we can actually fit two more 
extenders up here we're just not too sure if that's going to be too high for us or not so we're going to install the bookcase the media unit and then we have to pick up a tv mount and then i'm hoping in the next few days maybe sometime next week i can go to ikea scope out the chairs and order them if i like them or i might just order them on a whim and hope that we like them i don't know we'll see but painting is done i didn't get too many clips of me painting because truthfully that's boring we all know how paint goes that's the update we have paint which is probably the hardest part so yay we're one step closer to having our dream home library which i can't wait the day has come you guys we are putting together the bookcases and i'm so excited matt's just testing the power to that socket but it's so bright in here i can't wait I think I measured 20 inches instead of centimeters. Okay, and then that one can come in, I guess. Too. you guys it has been a few days um and honestly that's just because there hasn't been many updates but of course it always works like this i just started like a quote-unquote normal vlog just like a day in my life and then i got a text from ikea saying our chairs were coming and matt was like hey we have low census this week i'm gonna try and take a vacation day so we can finish the library and so i was like okay we're literally doing everything at once so i figured i would give you guys kind of all the updates i have right now i don't remember the last time i talked to you guys but Last week I ended up going to Ikea to just test out some couches, sit in them. You know, if I'm like reading a book or playing video games, I want like a really comfy couch and also some chairs. And I'm so glad I ended up doing that because I had my eye on these oversized chair, chair and a half from Ikea. The name of it is the Back Salon. It's like a newer, more like linen, kind of giving like coastal cottage vibes series that they came out with. They have a couch, love seats. Um, oversized chairs etc and all the reviews said that they were super uncomfortable because they were really deep however I was going for like a very deep chair and I'm so glad I ended up going to sit in it because I ended up loving it and they were doing free delivery for Cyber Monday which is pretty good because delivery out here to the country is like $200 so I ordered two of those chairs and they're coming today which is super exciting the covers got delivered a few days ago actually and I saw them and I was just so excited I went back and forth between the natural color and the white but I chose the natural and I was scared at first that it was going to be more like brown but it is literally the most beautiful color I can't wait to show you guys so those are coming today and then this weekend I also got a coffee table on Facebook marketplace for like 20 bucks which I will share with you guys as the update for today I did also put up the um, shelf extension Billy makes shelf extensions and I feel like it looks so much better our only issue with the library is that we can't make it look fully built in because we obviously have uneven ceilings because we're in a hundred year old house so we're kind of brainstorming how to do that but i have to go pick up two more bookcases this week at ikea as well because we actually decided that it makes sense to have two more and i'll show you guys what i mean by that and then honestly all that's really left to do is obviously mount the tv and then make it look more built in so matt needs to mount the bookcases to the wall and then add trim and stuff around it just to make it look built in and so i wanted to come on and give you guys a little update but i'll share kind of the stuff around the room now the covers these are what the chairs are going to look like so if you order the back salon covers from ikea they're not brown this is what the natural color looks like and i love this so so much we end up going with natural colored furniture because we can always add pillows and rugs to like spice it up and then here is my facebook marketplace find i love it so much i'm pretty sure it was so low because there's like a little scratch but 
I love it. It adds character. Dark wood in here really just kind of does a contrast with the bookcases. I think the detailing on it is stunning. We might refinish it one day. Who knows? But for now, I love it. Matt really likes the color as well. I realized after we built them that there's just like too much free space here. We only have a 65 inch TV and so it just doesn't look very built in to me. Like if you have the TV here, you're gonna have so much empty space. So what we're doing is we bought another bookcase. We're gonna cut it so it's just like the four here and then a four here and that will kind of close out some of the space and make the TV kind of fit perfectly. And then I think it'll just look a bit more built in because this just kind of looks a little too wide and open and kind of weird to me honestly right now. So they're back in stock now at Ikea. They've been out for a week so I need to order those and go pick them up because they don't deliver out here. And yeah, but those are the updates for now. We have chairs. Good morning, you guys. Little reading room update. I don't know what I filmed last night, but we ended up actually changing the whole layout and putting the shelves on this wall here. They were obviously originally on the wall where that couch is. Obviously trial and error. I'm a very visual person, so I needed to like get the furniture in the space before really like deciding on anything. Literally fits by like a sliver, by like one centimeter this somehow fit on this wall. Anyways, that is the update. We built the chair. I love it so much. This is the natural color and I'm obsessed with it. And I really actually like the rug in here with a bigger jute rug underneath. All right, update. Someone is coming to get this couch tonight. And Matt is mounting the bookcases so that they stay in place, which means I can put my books on them and I'm so excited. Alrighty, guys wanted to give you an update it's friday and we worked so late into the other night that i couldn't share any updates here's what's going on matt was a sweet angel and like i said on his day off he ran to ikea to get the other bookcases we have to actually cut them because they don't make a four one they just make a three with an extension so it was actually cheaper for us to buy the four or the full size one and cut it but matt spent so much time affixing them and obviously we have slanted floors because we have a hundred year old house it's just life so we had to put down a ton of shims but these are like so solid on the wall they're not going anywhere i'm really excited to put my books in them this weekend the current dilemma we're having is that we are going to put doors on them because we want to use one of them for storage so i don't know if this is going to look weird and i hope it doesn't but they came with two sets of doors for here and here but i think we're just going to do one set of door in the middle because we don't need more than like one shelf of storage and obviously the rest should be for books so but we had this rug from my office that we brought down here and I actually love the color of it. So I ordered it in a six by nine and that is coming. This is like a four by six. They also have an eight by 10. So we'll kind of try and learn which one works. Kind of hard to tell because the window's here, but then we just have to put up the curtain rod. I need to take down this Velcro piece right here. And I actually, I don't really know if you can tell, but I actually just painted and touched up the trim and made it nice and fresh. I definitely think it was such a good call to change the bookcases to this side it just opens it up so much but we're both very visual people so we really needed to like put the stuff in the space and try it out before committing so yeah next up yeah hoping tonight we can build the other chair and then we can work on it this weekend but i just wanted to give you guys a really exciting update that it's coming together so well i've acquired wine and more boxes of books so, so let's finish this off I'm so 
excited. Hopefully you guys aren't too wobbly. I have you on my phone tripod because I actually just filmed some TikToks. Update, we have books in here. Um, last night I ended up deciding to bring all the books down and put them in here because one, I wanted to make sure we could fill all the bookcases up and our books were scattered across the entire house and it was just giving me like it just didn't feel like we were 100 percent unpacked i had piles in our room piles in my office piles in the closet room they were just everywhere and since they're super secure and like fastened to the wall now matt was like you can honestly put your books in if you want so i'm so happy they're not organized at all like i quite literally took handfuls of books and just put them on the shelves like there's no order genres are mixed up authors are mixed up because i want to do a whole like organizing my library video once the library is done so that's kind of one of the big updates is that there's books in here which makes it feel so real and we need to still build the other chair we need to put up the curtain rod and i want to do it sooner rather than later because if these curtains are too short i just want to be able to order some new ones from ikea that are going to fit and we have the bigger rug which i'm gonna lay down that just came out and i want to let it kind of like breathe matt needs to build the other two bookcases and secure those up i don't mind it's a little dirty in here just because we've been bringing stuff in and out but we just need to throw some trim on here just to make it look a bit more built in this side is pretty close to the wall so we're just gonna probably caulk this um we're not gonna like stick a trim piece here or anything we need to pick up some mdf to put right over here just so it looks built in and not like it's separate bookcases so we need to do that throughout all the bookcases and this side so when you walk in it looks like it's just built in but obviously there is a gap there so we just need to get a small piece of trim and then caulk that as well so it looks built in i need to cover all these holes up the only thing i don't think is going to be done in time for this video is the top trim i just think that that's something we're going to have to wait on just because we want to make sure that we pick trim that we like and we don't want to rush into it those are the updates for now um we're gonna like i said build the other chair today and then we can roll the carpet out and let that stretch and then i can return this one <laughs>
Look how big that light bulb is. I think if we do the bigger one, we won't need a lamp in here. Are you guys ready for the current reveal? Here she is. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. I feel like I have so many updates to give you guys because we've just been trying to work against the clock to get this project done. Here is the chair setup. I'm currently trying to decide between the burnt orange pillows and this more neutral taupe pillow. I didn't realize how similar the curtains were going to be to our chairs. So I'm thinking I want to do a fun splash of color with the curtains and I'm trying to learn to tie into elements that we have. So I'm thinking of doing navy curtains or maybe like a burnt orange, like the pillow or a taupe color. Let me know what you guys think, but it'll be in the next part anyways, but I would love some feedback on what color curtains we should do or if we should maybe just go with like a white curtain. I definitely really like the burnt orange pillows. I think they tie in well to the space. The only issue is I just don't know what color curtain I could do with burnt orange. So we still need to hang up my pin board here. That will be in part two. And then I am still on a hunt for a lamp to go in this corner, a hanging lamp. Obviously the bookcases go to the end and so I can't really do a mirror. I can't really do a gallery wall, maybe like one or two big prints, but I really want to get a lamp in here first. We obviously have the stunning coffee table. We have the rug, which I actually think the rug works really, really well in here, even with the marble. And it just, I just feel like it's coming together so well. And then here is the home library. So, so the plan is this TV was always going to be down here temporarily. This is like a TV that Matt bought when he first moved out. And then our other TV is a hand-me-down from Matt's parents. And with yesterday being Boxing Day, I actually ended up buying a TV um, that was a really good deal. It was a Samsung because we want to do a fake frame TV. And obviously this is too big. Like it would just, there's no room to even do the fake frame. And we wanted it mounted. So this is a 65. I ended up going with a 50 inch TV in here because I wanted there to be adequate room to do the frame so i'm really excited about that so that's coming at the end of this weekend like i said i'm going to start a part two of this video so that we can kind of do the finishing touches on there but that's the tv situation the goal of it will be to be like mounted and it will have like a fake frame around it so it will just kind of like blend into the space a lot better and then the bookcases they look so good you guys especially the caulking is what makes it look so built in and i just love them so much obviously we didn't really bring them up to the ceiling just because we have crooked ceilings um but i honestly don't mind it at all i think it looks so well done and we're just kind of trying to sort out right now where we're going to put certain things so obviously we have a lot of games and we couldn't do a door if we did trim i think my plan is going to be to take the two or three on each side and put bins in them like this just to have some storage and then this will be like all books i think that will be the best plan of attack so yeah the books aren't organized right now i'm going to do a whole separate video on that and they're obviously like not all the book shelves are filled in but i need to find some storage bins because the ikea ones don't fit in these little guys so i need to find some online that will fit into this space so we can have some storage and just kind of like clean this up a little bit and then of course i just have to paint the trim because trim doesn't really come painted or you can buy it painted but there's not really a point because you're going to scuff it up anyway so i need to go over with some trim paint on all of these just to kind of really make it seamless but uh it looks so good you guys this is like truly a dream come true honestly oh i actually didn't tell you guys that we ended up doing a trim piece on the end here really scuffed up i gotta paint it but yeah i definitely think that we need to do some sort of <laughs> colored curtains because it's just way too like sterile neutral in here i really think a pop of color curtain would look so pretty in here maybe like i said navy but let me know maybe a color like that the brown or even like the rust and i bought a few colored option pillow covers from ikea just so i could decide which ones i'm gonna use and i'm actually gonna keep them all just because i figured i can change them out with the seasons and stuff so really happy with how it turned out so far but i wanted to give you guys a big overview and then part two will have like the tv mounting the tv doing the fake frame painting the trim organizing the bookshelves hanging some art hopefully having a lamp and just kind of like finishing it off but i really wanted to get part one up for you guys so you guys could see it and hopefully this helps if you guys want to do an ikea bookcase project the biggest things are obviously just trim um, to make it look built in so you can't see the seams between the bookcases and then caulking it with white caulk to 
make sure that it really blends in and kind of attaches to the wall to make it really look built in. So, so excited with how part one turned out and I cannot wait to share part two with you guys in a few weeks, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I love you guys so much.